there's nothing like being woken up very early after a night of very minimal sleep to go move a car to the other side of the road. So, I don't think there are any plans for today, like at all, like for the first time in a very, very, very long time, I have a day where I just have no plans. I really don't know what to do today. I do actually have to edit all day. The video is about to um, be released in two days and uh, I have a lot of work to do. So I will take my laptop wherever I go today, if I go anywhere today. So ahead of time I apologize if this is yet another super short lifeless vlog I'll try to do something I'll make something up So, I have to go pick up my girlfriend, take her home, and then I'm back home. So while I'm driving, I actually want to talk about, I'm in 11 vlogs now, although I took like a week off, so I should be at like, maybe like 15, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I should be at 15 vlogs now. And I never really, I never really thought that I could do a vlog daily. I always thought that I was, I always figured I was gonna do a weekly vlog. Having that state of mind, I feel good about the fact that I was able to bring you guys a couple vlogs back to back, despite like, you know, all that was going on. And then I was able to take the time that I wanted to. Last Thursday was my birthday, so I was able to take, you know, some time off. After that, that's when I started all the work with the videos, and now I'm actually, uh, editing the last video Moochie Doll was in it and uh, she's releasing a song soon I have like three more days to edit the video that's what I love to do so I always really focused I'm always really focused on what I want to do same thing with these vlogs I mean a lot of people are doing vlogs and a lot of people are doing as far as the vlogs they're like a little bit on the amateur side which it's a vlog so it's supposed to be very amateur like just like a storytelling of your day you know, but I like to go in and finesse, I guess you can say, a little bit. Make it look somewhat nice. So I take time, I do my color correcting. I take time, I choose my music wisely. Shout out to all the YouTube people that put up, like, free beats and stuff like that. I always keep you guys in the uh, in the comments. One thing that I like about vlogging, the reason why I like vlogging is because there's people like, for example, my friend Alex Escobar. We're both one of the, probably one of the few, like, vloggers from... The hood. We're from the hood. That's where we're from. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the Bronx. I'm 84th. He's from he's from 138th. You know what I'm saying? So like we're literally from the hood. And you never ever see someone walking around the street vlogging and actually showing people what they like to do. I would like to see more people pursue what they like to do. I'm a, I'm a photographer. I'm a videographer. I love graphics. I'm a designer. And I do fashion. I love fashion. So, I mean, those are things that, that I've always done. Once I get this whole vlog thing going, like I said, I'm only 11 vlogs in, but me personally, I do it because I think it's cool to have somebody from where I came from do something like this. Every chance that I get to do a vlog with Alex, I'll get it done because we're both from the same area, basically, the same. We probably saw the same things growing up. And it's really not a lot of people that you see trying to manage a YouTube channel coming from the hood because as kids, we're taught differently by our peers. And in reality, it's not. It's, it's okay to have any type of sneakers you want. It's okay to run any 
vlog. I know a lot of gamers. Alex is a gamer. And if you see Alex in the street, you're like, wow, that's some kind of thug or something. You don't look like a gamer. What I'm trying to say is, like, I'm pursuing these vlogs for a reason. I learned a new program. I learned a new camera. Somebody handed me the Sony in order for me to learn about it so I can teach a group, hopefully try to teach a group of kids about photography and stuff like that. That's the reason why I took on this vlog, to learn new things and to pretty much document that, you know, different things do happen. The only people that I see vlogging is like, for example, like Casey, I forgot the other girl, I forgot her first name, Rhymes With Peaches, you know, she's cool. And uh, there's the other guy that uh, he's always vlogging with his girlfriend. Their vlogs are really, really good, you know what I'm saying? But they're, they're always in New York on the high end of things. And I haven't seen a vlogger from the area that I'm in. That's why I keep vlogging. It took me a half hour to find this place to park, so I'm really just waiting for my girlfriend. Oh, there she comes. Hi, babe. Like a sports player. It's a little knee brace. things more unboxing I guess and thanks to Liz I got two new items to use we're gonna test this bad boy out so we're gonna test this first and then I'm gonna have to switch the camera to test this out I gotta get batteries for this so I uh, turn off my desktop lamp that I have and uh, this has an IR light. I don't know. But it also has a super bright light as well. This is without the light. And this is with the light. But it's super bright. I can't even look at the camera while the light is on. That's with the filter on it. So now I have to switch my camera. So we can try this mic out. It would be nice if I found my lens first. Follow my lens. Wrong lens. Right lens. Switching it out. Alright, here we go. So, the cool thing about this super bright light is that you can actually put it on any camera because it runs on its own battery. But it's way too bright and it's like a very like strong spotlight. They should probably sell a diffuser for it. It's right here. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the mic. Oh, it takes a little battery. This would be the receiver. So I don't know if I broke the button because in here, when I slide up. Hold on. When I slide up in here, it doesn't stay up, but it clicks down. So inside the box, we have paperwork and a whole lot of straps, I guess, a bag for it, I guess, and two earphones. Oh, well, the little... Oh, well, look at that. The little button fell out. Lost the little button. I guess we have to read. Oh, this one has English. Mr. 
I don't find the English. Sony, you lost me. That's it. Mr. Goodbye, guys.